Well, this week, 7 News is featuring special reports on the case of Susan Smith and because next month she becomes eligible for parole. Our Gordon Dill is here to break down what we can expect tonight. Gordon. Well, Amy, Susan Smith is, as you said, about to be eligible for parole. Of course, most of us know the name. Smith was convicted of killing her two sons in Union County in 1994. She was sentenced to life in prison, but eligible for parole after 30 years, meaning next month. So tonight we're going to break down exactly how a convicted double murderer is eligible for release, how that process is expected to work, and how likely is it really that Susan Smith could be set free. Let's start with the why. Why is Susan Smith eligible for parole? Because that's the easiest question to answer. Here's attorney Ryan Holloway, who spent decades as a South Carolina prosecutor before moving to private practice. Because uh, the law in before January the 1st, 1996, said that anyone convicted of murder could be up for parole. They're eligible for parole um, after serving 30 years. And they were just crying. And Smith killed her children in 1994. And at that time, the law guaranteed she'd get a shot at parole. Actually, more than once because even if parole is denied this year, she'll remain eligible every two years from now on for the rest of her life. The law changed two years after her crimes in 1996. So if she committed the murders post January the 1st, 96, you and I would not be sitting here. No parole. No parole. So anybody who commits a similar crime this point forward, if, they say, if the judge says life. Yes, well. life until you are deceased. So now that she's eligible, what happens in that parole hearing? Smith will stay in prison at Leith Correctional in Greenwood, while seven commissioners meet in Columbia. She'll make a video appeal, and she goes first, making the best case for her release. They want to know what you've been doing with your time. Are you violent to other offenders? Are you compliant with guards? Because that, goes, that feeds into the equation of, are you at risk when they release you? In Smith's case, there are serious red flags. Since her conviction, she's been disciplined multiple times for violation of prison rules, including this August, when she gave an interview to a documentary filmmaker, sharing contact information for witnesses in her case, including her ex-husband. The victims will give statements next, and Smith's live prison feed would be turned off so they can address the board. And those emotional appeals can affect the outcome. The board considers more than a dozen factors, and they have absolute discretion. Which brings us to the most important question. How likely is it Susan Smith will actually get parole and walk out of prison? The short answer is, it's very, very unlikely. It's not very common, certainly not the first, first go around. The odds of Susan Smith getting parole, in your opinion? Very low, very low. We looked at other cases before this board, a total of 491 of them over the previous two months. Of those, only 13, about 2.5%, got conditional parole. And for violent offenders like Susan Smith, the chances are even slimmer. Well, we're gonna, not going to have to wait very long to find out how this ends because the board will walk into that hearing November 20th with a complete file on the case to get the parole. She needs five of the seven board members to approve it, and that decision will happen that day. But again, even if Susan Smith is denied parole this year, she'll be back before that board two years later.